few years into the rule of Tiberius, Rome's legions are masters of the world. The stomp of Rome's armies echoes throughout its expanding empire. Oppressed people everywhere writhe under the cruel Roman lash. In these days, the Emperor Caesar is Godhead. He is Lord over every man. Men of Rome, I hereby decree that a census should be carried out of the entire Roman Empire. Each family must return to their home of origin and be registered. For we must give testament to Rome's unrivaled greatness and her prosperity. Now go and let the census begin. Rakamim, you're back already. This is frustrating. These Romans, mm, they've ordered another census. Ah, trying to control us, counting us like, like we are sheep. 
I suspect they want to collect more taxes. No doubt. Oh. Ah, I hope they fall asleep while at it. You see, oh, it happens to me every time I'm counting my master's ship. Itza, Itza, mm -hmm. this, this is, is serious. serious. But think about it. Hmm? To the Romans, we are all like sheep. In fact, we have no value to them. An assessor is nothing new. We are going to get up, we go get counted, and come back and look after our sheep. It has happened before. It will happen again. Nothing new. But you see, it's never just counting. Don't you all remember what happened the last time? You, Elimelech, didn't they take all your money? They did. <laughs> money. And you, Yitzhak, while you're busy laughing, didn't that mean Roman centurion knock out your front teeth? Ah, Rakamim, don't remind me of that memory. <laughs> it is one I would like to forget. You see, I can't even smile without people laughing at me. <laughs> <laughs> We can laugh now, but things have been getting worse every other time. We are more powerless than ever. We need to rise up, mm -hmm. defend ourselves, and take back our land. Wow. Rakami, first come this side. So, you mean we can drive out these Romans like we do to our ship? Yes. We need a warrior king mm -hmm. to raise an army and overthrow Caesar himself. Brothers, brothers, mm. brothers. I know it's not easy, but life will not always be this difficult. Let's not lose hope. Mm. Remember, the prophet Isaiah said, a Messiah will come to save us all and put an end to our suffering. Mm. Rakamim, a Messiah is about to come. Elimelech. Elimelech. Our fathers mm. Mm. and their fathers' fathers and their fathers' fathers' fathers died waiting for the promise. Mm. He's going to come. Ah, how long shall we wait? Very soon. Ah. Mm. Rakamim. Elimelech. If you're saying he is going to come, hmm? Let him come now. Yes, sir. Mm. Oh, God, send a Messiah.
Joseph. Yes, my dear. Do we have everything we need for the uh, journey? Let me check. Do we have some water? Are those blankets? Yeah. Can I have them? I'll fold them. It's okay. I'll fold them. Okay. Uh, as you do that, let me load the donkey. <gasps> Joseph! Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. The baby just kicked. Huh? <laughs> Place your hand, Phil. You feel that? Yeah. <laughs> wow, I, I felt him kick. <laughs> I cannot wait to meet him. I know. Ah. What's but the Joseph, yes, I hope dear. we arrive in time to find a place to stay. Don't worry, Mary. I believe God will make sure we get there safely and in time for this baby's birth. Joseph, first come. Do you remember when I told you that I was pregnant? Hmm? And how the power of the Lord had come upon me? I remember. You do? Mm. You were so scared. <laughs> eh. <laughs> Mary, that was a very hard time. I could not imagine being engaged to someone who was already pregnant. I was so confused. I know. You almost broke off our engagement. Hmm. And almost left me. <laughs> oh, Mary. Almost. Keyword, almost. <laughs> you know, when the angel appeared to me that night, he confirmed every word that you had said. And that gave me great peace. I couldn't wait to see you, to let you know that I'm with you through all of this. Joseph, how blessed we are that we were favored by the Lord. Mm. It hasn't been easy, mm -mm. but I have this confidence mm. that God is with us and that everything is going to be all right. It will be. Oh, we have to go, Joseph. You're right.
Many things under the Romans are bad. But at least some things are working out for our good. Right, Elimele? That's right. I mean, look at our ship. They are healthy and multiplying. Yeah. Wow. Hey, Yitzhak. Mm. Hey, please pass me the swaddling clothes. <laughs> Am I supposed to do that? I, I just took the ship to grace. But Yitzhak, how can you forget something so simple and yet very important? This is going to be our firstborn lamb. It is our offering and it cannot have any blemish. Rakamim, we all have a part to play. We are mm. a team. Ah, 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 ah. Tell him, tell him. You, you have one job. He has one job to bring swaddling clothes and wrap the lamp. That's all. Is that too much to ask? We all know what to do, Rakamim. Ah. Yitzhak, mm? you know what you do. Mm? Elimelech, what is it exactly that we do? Yitzhak. We shepherds watch our flocks by night. Sometimes it's dark, sometimes it's bright. Our fathers taught us how to be the best of shepherds we can be. Elimelech is a show. Yeah. <laughs> you know what it's at? Let us show him how we do it Bethlehem style. We say, but watch our vlogs by night. Hey. Sometimes it's dark, sometimes bright. Our father taught us how to be, to be, to be the best of shepherds we can be. Tell us, what do you do? My name is Itzak, son of God. I saw the, I saw the, I saw the, I saw the, I saw the little baby lamb. Hey, come on up. No spot of blemish. Ah, will I let stand my ship? The lamb has always be spotless. Say it again, say it again. Spotless. <laughs> what, do, what do you do? My name is Rakamimi. Hey! I watch over the sheep. Uh -huh. Best job, by the way. Uh -huh. When a wolf comes, uh -huh. to kill my sheep. Yeah. I run after the wolf. Uh -huh. I eat it, by the way. Eat! Yeah! We shepherds watch our flocks by night. Hey, hey, hey. Sometimes it's dark, sometimes bright. Uh -huh. Our father showed us how to be, to be, to be the best of shepherds we can be. Ah. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> ah. For you, Elimelech, what do you do? Mm -hmm. Well, my name is Elimelech. I lead the sheep to pastures green. Should they fast, it falls on me to bring them water that is clean. <laughs> Remix! Do it now! We serve but watch our flocks by night. Sometimes it's dark, sometimes bright. Hey! Our fathers told us how to be, to be, to be the best of shepherds we can be. Ah, one more time. We shepherds watch our flocks by night. Sometimes it's dark, sometimes bright. Our fathers told us how to be, to be, to be the best of shepherds we can be. We shepherds watch our flocks by night. We shepherds hey. watch our flocks by night. Sometimes it's dark, sometimes bright. Sometimes it's dark, sometimes 
swaddling clothes, yeah. wrap the lamb, mm -hmm. and do it very well. Is that clear? Oh, we are running late. We need to go for the census. Yeah. Now, let's go. Have you seen that line? Eh, that eh, is a eh. very long line. What time are we going to leave this place? You know what? Uh -huh. Get some money okay. and give it to that Roman soldier at the front. Those yeah. Romans will take the money. Hey, yeah, that's yeah. Right. yeah. Okay. You know, what you say is very right. We don't have time. We have left our ship alone in the fields. And just like you, I want to get back in time. How much do you have? Give me this one. Yeah, you go to France. Ah, 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 ah. That is not right. What about the ones that came before us? We wait until our turn. But Elimelech, always spoiling things. It is hot. We've been here for a uh, Elimelech, you allow time. Yitzhak, we wait. Elimelech. Move! Move! For his honorable, the excellency, the consular tribune, Saturnius Tullius Pyrrhus Prayer the second. Move! Oh! Is she okay? She's okay. He's Roman. That's so mean. How ah. ruthless can one be? Who is that? That's Papyrus. Ah. Papyrus is important to the Roman government. Ah. He's an important man. Rakami, do you think she will make it? I think she's about to pop. <laughs> but you know what? We've been in this line for too long. Mm. I'm actually getting very tired. It is too hot. I don't even like what these Romans are doing to our Shh. people. Ah. Shh. There, are, there are Roman soldiers around. Ah. Shh. Nothing seems right anymore. Everywhere you look, Romans. Everywhere you go, Romans. Every office you go to, Romans. They own everything. When it comes to land, they own all the land. You can't buy milk, you can't buy bread, you can't buy sugar. The prices are very high. Doesn't God see what is happening to his people? Rakamim, uh, you need to calm down. God is going to send a Messiah at the right time. All we need to do is trust and wait. For all we know, the Messiah might already be here.
Hmm. Wow. Something feels different with the sky today. I don't know whether it's just me or uh, Yitzhak. Mm. Look up. Ah. Wow. Anyway, hmm. there are so many stars in the sky. Ah, but it's beautiful. Amazing. Wow. Hmm. Hey, Rakamim. <laughs> Rakamim, you need to wake up and go to your post. Hey, is it the time already? Yes, it is the time. Ah. Rakamim, when you go to your post, please don't run away like you did last time. That was just a puppy that chased you away. <laughs> ah. I, I, I'm never scared. I was not scared then, even now. I am mm. not scared. Nothing scares me. Mm. Ah. And for your information, mm. It was not a puppy. It was a wolf. It ah. was a puppy. Ah, let me go. It okay. was a puppy. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Do not be afraid. I bring you great news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He is the Lord, he is the Messiah. And this will be the sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger.
just seen the one the angel told us about, the long-awaited Messiah, mm. the promised one. I knew he would come. <laughs> he has really come. You see, while we were going about mm. our everyday business, God was working things out. And to think that I've just been arguing and complaining this whole time. Mm. <laughs> Rakamim. Mm. You can complain. Whoa. But you see, his love goes beyond our pain and our fear. In fact, his ways are not our ways. He chose an ordinary couple like Joseph and Mary to bring the Messiah into the world. And a stable, a stable. Who would ever think that our salvation would come through a child born in a manger with a stable for a bed? Who? I mean, look at us. Just nobodies, lowly shepherds. And yet God sent an angel to tell us that the Messiah has been born. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Indeed. This is great news that brings such great joy. That's true. That's right, mm -hmm. Rakamim. And God is a promise keeper. For unto us a child is born. To us a son is given. And the government will be on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor. Mighty God. Everlasting Father. Prince of Peace. Oh, this brings us great, great joy. joy. Now, let us go everywhere and tell everybody, yeah. yes. let's go.
Come on one more time. Would you give Jesus a big round of applause? He's worthy of all the praise and the glory and the honor. There is no one else like Jesus. Jesus changes lives. He changed my life as a 10-year-old boy and I walked into this building, watched the production and I said yes to him. He changed my life. I had my challenges as a teenager. I walked away from him. But at the age of 16, I recommitted my life to him and he was there with his arms wide open because Jesus remains faithful even when we are unfaithful. There is no one else like Jesus. No one like him. Jesus turns lives around. He can turn your life around. He's turned thousands of vulnerable women's lives around. And today they have a smile with Senate. He's turned the lives of little boys and girls who were orphaned at a very young age. And today some of them were on stage singing, dancing, they were on the drums. And as a matter of fact, the producer of Cantata 2022 is one of those little boys who is now an amazing leader, George, who's right here. Jesus turns lives around. His influence is unmatched. No wonder the world stops in the month of December to celebrate his birth. Why? His is a global birthday. No one else like Jesus. It was the 28th of August, 1963. 250,000 people gathered all hoping for a change in their lives and a change in their nation. And that day, 18 speakers were lined up to speak to the crowds. And one after the other, they came and spoke. But when speaker number 16 came, an African-American preacher stepped up to the platform, ready speech like everybody else. And at the end, of his speech, he said something that totally captivated the hearts of the crowds that were there that day and millions watching on television. He said, I have a dream. And from the crowd, a woman shouted, come on Martin, tell them the dream. And Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. began to speak. I have a dream that one day my four little children will live in a country where they won't be judged by the color of their skin, but rather by the content of their character. I have a dream today. And on and on he went sharing his dream. You know what? We too have a dream. And this is our dream that this Christmas you and your family will experience great joy. That's our dream. We also have a dream for our city, our country, our continent, that God would heal us of all the things that cause pain, the corruption, the injustice, the war and disease. We have a dream that God will change the narrative of Africa. No longer will we be called a dark and broken and poor continent. Rather, Africa will be called blessed and beautiful. We have that dream. And we believe it. You may ask, is it really possible for such change to come to Africa? Is it really possible for you to have great joy? Here's the thing, my friend. If you look to human beings, you are going to be disappointed. With man, 
it's impossible. But with God, all things are possible. All things. And that's what the Christmas story tells us. The children of Israel were going through an impossible situation under the ruthless rule of the Romans and Augustus Caesar calls for a census and they were being counted but something else was happening in heaven the angels were also counting but they were counting time they waited months it became weeks and days as they watched Mary and then the days became hours and minutes. And the moment Jesus was born, the angel came and broke the news to the shepherds and said, I bring good news that will cause great joy for all people. What was that news? Today, a Savior has been born. The Lord, the Messiah. That's the good news. A savior has been born. Now listen, my friends. The root cause of all human pain and suffering is sin. Sin not only separates us from God. Sin destroys our lives. Sin leaves us empty and guilty, full of shame. There is nothing positive about sin. Sin makes us prisoners and captives to Satan. But Jesus came to set the captives free. That's the good news. We couldn't save ourselves. But God, demonstrated his love for us in this that while we were still powerless while we were still sinners Christ died for our sin Christ died the ultimate purpose for Christ's birth is that he would die so we could live for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. No one else like him. And when he hung on that cross and paid the penalty for our sin, as soon as he said it is finished, it was all paid for. But there is more good news. He was buried but death couldn't hold him there on the third day he rose from the grave he defeated death oh death where is your sting now because Jesus rose from the grave we too will rise from the grave one day and we shall rule and reign with him forever there's no one else like Jesus he is the reason for the season, but also he is the eternal risen King of kings and the Lord of lords. The Bible says, for God has exalted Jesus to the highest place. He's given him a name that's above every other name. And at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee will bow in heaven, on earth, or under the earth. And every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. There is no one else like Jesus. No one. Now as I come to the end of my sharing today, here's what I know. There is some of you in this building watching on television and you know your life is empty. You don't have great joy. You're living in darkness. You're living in fear. You're living in confusion. You don't have to live like that. 
For the Bible says, all you have to do is to call on the name of the Lord. For whoever calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. The greatest joy any human being will ever receive is not a salary increment. It's not that next drink or next relationship. It's not that business breakthrough. All that is good. But the greatest joy that you will any human being will ever receive is the joy of salvation. It's the greatest joy. And today is the day of salvation. Not yesterday. Yesterday is gone, not tomorrow. We have no guarantees for tomorrow. Today is the day of salvation. And if you hear his voice, do not harden your heart. Say yes to him and you will be saved and receive great joy. Let's pray right now. Let's bow our heads and pray. All over this building, and for those who are watching on television, you're saying, Pastor, you are speaking to me. My life is empty. My life is full of darkness. I'm tired of this cycle of sin and guilt and shame. I want to be saved. I want to be set free. If that's you, I would like to pray with you. A simple prayer. Wherever you are, upstairs, down, watching on television, just lift up your hand and say, pray with me, Pastor. Today is my day. Thank you. Thank you. Just lift that hand up. Young man, young woman, thank you, madam. God bless you. Thank you. I see those hands. This is the best decision all over the building. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Come on, lift that hand high. If you're right behind, up in the um, uh, uh, platform, please lift your hand up. And someone is going to come to you upstairs. Is there any other person like that? Yes, yes, yes. God bless you. Yes, young man. God bless you. I'm glad you're deciding. Yes, I thank you, ma'am, for making that decision. God bless you. I see that hand. God bless you. Right at the back. God bless you. I see that hand. Just lift it up. If no one has come yet, just wave. I have a little booklet that I would like to place in your hands. God bless you. God bless you. Come on, friends. Let's celebrate our, our friends that are making that decision today. Yeah. Yeah, if you raised your hand, I'd love to lead you in a simple prayer. In fact, every single one of us, would you repeat this prayer after me? Say, dear Jesus, I thank you that you love me. I ask you to forgive me of all my sin and make me a child of God. Fill my life with great joy. In your name I pray. Amen. One more time, let's celebrate our friends that have prayed that prayer.
Come on, you can do better than that. Let's appreciate the team one more time. Wow. Are you having a wonderful time tonight? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Please turn the house lights on. I want to see these faces as we talk about the next thing. Christmas reminds me of this verse, and I believe that most of you know this verse. And that is John 3, 16. And here we go, everybody. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. Now, if your neighbor said that correctly, come on, give them a hand right now. Clap for them. You can even tell them, well done. You know, well done. That's a beautiful word. You know, Christmas is not Christmas without a father giving his one and only son. Christmas reminds us of the loving father who was generous towards humanity. God loved the world, therefore he gave. And the son loved all of us, he gave his life for you and I. And today we are able to gather in this place and celebrate Christmas. Why? Because there's a loving God in heaven who is extremely generous to all of us today. And Christmas really reminds us of this amazing fact that a loving God generously gave to us his one and only son. And you know, for the last 30 years plus, as Wachoro, we have given a hundred and one percent to ensuring that we put up one of the most spectacular Christmas productions as a gift to the city of Kampala and the people of Uganda. And let me tell you, it takes lots of resources, money, talent, time. It does. But we give it a hundred percent and for free. Why? Because we want the city of Kampala to experience great joy. And as a result of these cantatas, we have seen hundreds and thousands of people give their lives to Jesus. And that is worth it each and every time. In fact, today, many people in this room said yes to Jesus Christ. Come on, let's celebrate that amazing, that amazing harvest of generosity. You see, friends, when we are generous, we change people's lives. And at this very moment, I want to ask you, right in this room, or you are watching us online or on TV, would love you to give a thanksgiving offering today. Not because you have to, no, because you love Jesus and you want to participate in the work of preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. And as the Watoro family, every time it's time for us to give, we are so excited and we say, it's now time for us to give. Excited because God loves a cheerful giver. And every time we are generous, we reflect the heart of our heavenly father. And so the ashes are going to wait on us with offering bags. And please dig deep in your pocket, give a big generous offering towards the work that God is doing through our other church. But also, if you want to give by mobile money or bank transfers, you can go onto our website, wachodochurch.com slash give, and you can participate in this amazing work that we are doing here. Now, as we all give, we have one more song from the team. 